Okay, so for starters, this is how the tank is going to look at the end. And the whole idea is to create a nice little ant biome while having multiple plants from my garden that hopefully will spread out and then I'll have multiple new copies of these plants and I can transfer them to the yard, they'll be all grown up and mature and then it'll work perfectly. Right, so to start out, here's my pond. A little prize I got going on. There's some goldfish I put in there. Obviously I need to clean the water as the algae is starting to build up and the filter needs to get changed as well, but yeah, I think some pellets. And to start off, I got this sweet potato vine. And as you can see, because it's in the water, it has surface tension, so roots are growing. So that's an easy plant to grow in there. And then it'll have some, hopefully, sweet potatoes. And get some thyme. And then here are some succulents, which I love because of their color, and then they just look, they just look awesome. But there's a rule to when you're cutting all these plants and you transfer them because as you can see, I'm ripping the roots out. And then you also want to match the amount of leaves to the roots. That way it can sustain it because if there's too much leaves, it'll actually kill the plant. Succulents are a little better though. And this right here is a purple clover. So a lot of nitrogen in those. Clovers create nitrogen, so that'll create some good green growth in the tank. And then here are my strawberry plants. These are yellow strawberries. Bare root, yeah. And of course, here's my Marble Queen pothos. All right, so here's a process about cleaning all these plants. And as I said before, you wanna make sure all the green growth matches the roots. Or if you wanna be safe, just remove all the green growth and then leave the roots. And then new leaves will actually sprout faster because all the roots have all the energy to supply the new growth. But then you gotta make sure they have enough light. So indoor probably wouldn't be ideal for strawberries or any non-house plant, like an outdoor plant that is great in full sun. Unless you have a grow light like me, then you can grow any plant inside. But yeah, make sure they all have water. That way the plant stays, you know, they need water because if they dry up. And you see on these strawberries, you got some berries going on them. So indoor, they should create some good fruit. And then I'm hoping that it'll create a long-term food supply for the ants. They can eat the berries as they grow and decompose. Here are the succulents, the same thing. Well, succulents actually do great without water. So you can leave some of the, some of the leaves on. But of course, I like taking off little branches and then I like if you if you get a branch with no roots on it chances are you, especially a succulent or even the thyme you can put it in the dirt and it'll start to grow roots as, as long as there's water inside the dirt it'll have surface tension and then the roots will start to sprout and of course I like to separate it they see my workstation a little messy and as long as you clean it up you know good you know soap water it's all presentable, it should be good, as long as you're not lazy. Same for the clover. And of course it has a little bulb, so that bulb will be healthy. And the same thing goes for all the other plants. It's the same process through and through, just removing little branches off. That way, most of the production, it'll go into that one branch and it won't be all connected and It'll be one, it's pretty much like, it'll be like one body trying to support it. But if you separate them, it's like cloning them. They call it propagating. But of course, you do the process with all the plants. That's my spider plant. I picked it off my mother plant. Yeah, this is the same process for all these plants. Just you know, and then hopefully in a couple months, because it's about to be the winter here, they'll all be grown up, and then I'll have this new fish tank full of these plants. All these plants are plants that I want to create new copies of as well. I mean, I already have some in the yard, but this would be an interesting, you know, experiment, growing plants indoor, and then they're all plants that I really love. But now I'm cutting up all the thyme. Also, I think the thyme will look like a cool little jungle for the ants. Yep, same thing, all the plants, the pothos, and then the sweet potato. 
I'm really interested about the sweet potato because I can see the leaves are giant and I wonder if that'll hog the tank or if it'll probably, the vine will probably grow out the tank but any sweet potato vine, they're really easy even if they don't have roots you can just cut it and put it in the ground but here's my tank all nice and clean I actually got this on the side of the road for free so see them all the time so if anybody wants to try it you can just find a tank and then set up however you want to do you know put fish in there as long as it's waterproof and all that but and here's a little time lapse of me installing all the plants all the, the roots and everything everywhere and then of course you don't want to the whole thing can be covered with baby plants or cuttings because when the plants grow up they'll there'll be too many and they'll they'll kill each other because the roots they'll be competing for the soil and the nutrients in it unless you can keep it moist all the time but the problem with that is that if there's always water is that you always gotta fight fungus because the more the older water gets the more the pH goes down and then fungus has the ability to grow so I'm also separating a lot of these Another thing that a lot of gardeners say to do is that if you have any dead leaves from the plants, probably remove them because if that dead leaf contracts any you know, viruses or pests on it, it'll be the leaf connected to the original plant. It'll be the same, uh, it'll be part of that plant. Like it'll have the same genetics. It'll affect that plant. Like a disease won't like cross species or pests. I mean, they can, but hopefully not. But that's the main idea of why you, remove dead leaves and dead debris from plants so the main plant doesn't get infected with mold or anything. As you can see just going through the whole tank and then just filling it up. There's a little bug on the screen right there. And yeah that's essentially the whole tank. Next is to add the ants. 